Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Crystal Vision 1111. Before we get into this reading today, we are taking a moment to call upon all angels, all guardians, all ancestors, and the universe to protect this channel and all who join this community. Any negative energy that may try to enter this space, we ask you to send it back to them. Amen. And so it is. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through in this reading today may apply to everyone. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and for your situation and release the rest to the universe. So let's see what we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal? I wasn't honest about my feelings for you because I was afraid you would reject me. Now, we know that you would not reject your person. And deep in their heart and in their soul, they know that you wouldn't have rejected them either. But this fear that has been living in their head is where this rejection stuff comes from. And perhaps they have been rejected in the past. Perhaps they did believe that they loved someone in the past and they expressed their feelings to them and that person rejected them. Or perhaps your person doesn't feel lovable or worthy of love. Maybe for some of you out there, your person has held for within them for a very long time a wounded inner child who didn't get the kind of love, compassion, and support from their parents that they needed. And that is a difficult thing to carry around with you for a long time, for most of your life, without actually healing it, releasing it, and letting it go, and embracing that wounded inner child, and telling that child how much you are worthy of love, and that you deserve the love that is being presented to you. But your person is working through these rejection problems, these rejection issues, so that they are no longer fearful of rejection. It is a horrible thing to feel that. And your person is working through that. And they will present themselves to you again as a romantic partner. And you will be able to express your love for them. And they will reciprocate that expression of love to you. What else does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? What do we need to know? I shouldn't have walked away without a proper goodbye. Yes. So for many of you watching this reading, you are dealing with situations where your person ran, just running from you, abandoning this connection, disappearing, poof, without saying a word. But your person wasn't ready to give your closure because they knew in their heart and soul that they were going to return at some future date. Now, does that excuse this behavior? Absolutely not. There's no excuse. They should have said something along the lines of, we need to take a break. We need a time out. I need to go and get my act together. Please give me some time. That would have been a lot better than just disappearing from your life, leaving you wondering what the hell is going on here. You try to reach out to them. There's no response. You try to call them. You learn you're blocked. Your person knows that walking away from this connection or running away from this connection with you without saying anything or discussing it was not the right thing to do here. They know that they should have done something differently and they will apologize for that as well as everything else that they've done wrong, all the other mistakes that they've made as well in this connection with you. What else do we need to know for this reading today, please? What does the universe want to reveal to the collective? I was projecting all my fears on you. Well, yes, these rejection fears projected onto you abandonment issues projected onto you every other fear monster that lives within their head they projected all of it onto you and perhaps for many of you they blamed you for things if there was an argument they may have said that you created the argument all of this is self-sabotaging behavior because the bottom line here is your person did not feel worthy of you or your love they didn't believe that they could find and have this true love experience that they have with you. They didn't feel that they were good enough. 
They didn't believe that they were worthy of love, which is why they have these rejection fears. But they are working through that. They are working through it, all of it. Whatever issues, problems your person has that they have been dragging around with them for a large portion of their life, they are getting rid of it. So it no longer is part of your relationship with them. And it won't impact the two of you rebuilding your relationship where there are no fears, where you can tell each other how you feel about one another, where you can start planning a future together. Because your person knows that the time is now. It's time to start taking action towards you, to communicate, to apologize, to show up and start presenting themselves to you again as a romantic partner. Let's see what else the collective needs to know for this reading today, please. What do we need to know? You still hold the key to my heart. Well, yes, of course you do. No one else has that key. It only belongs to you. And your person has so much love for you locked away in their heart that needs to come pouring out. They need to tell you how they feel about you. They have kept that stuff suppressed for so long. It is like Mount Vesuvius getting ready to explode out of their chest and out of their mouth because they need to tell you how they feel. It's like they're suppressing it, suppressing it, holding it in because they're fearful of being rejected. They can't keep going like that. Eventually, it's going to explode out of them and they're going to need to tell you how they feel because it's preventing them truly from moving on with their life, from moving forward with their life. I'm not saying they're moving on from you or moving away from you or this connection. It's kind of keeping them stuck in a way. It's keeping them in this place of limbo and therefore keeping you also in that place of limbo, which is not a fun place to be because we feel like we're stuck when we're in limbo. We can't turn left, we can't turn right, we can't move forward, we are just in this holding pattern. And that is not where you are supposed to be. You are supposed to be moving forward with your life and doing for you what you need to do. Just because your person is stuck in this holding pattern, you guys watching the reading, doesn't mean that you should be. So keep doing something every day for your growth, for your self-love, for your positive self-care that shows you how special you are because the bottom line is you are worth it. But very much so here. You hold the key to your person's heart just like they have the key to yours. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? I want to talk to you, but can't find the right words to say to you right now. Okay, and that again comes back to this very first card. They are fearful that you would reject them if they tried to reach out, if they tried to text or call show up at your house, they're afraid that you wouldn't respond, that you wouldn't answer, that you wouldn't answer the door, whatever it is, that is part of their fear. But also, they want to say something to you that means something. They feel they need to express themselves in a way that gives you the understanding that you need about why they acted the way they did, why they have these rejection fears, why they projected all of their fears onto you, why they disappeared without saying goodbye, why they didn't give you any sort of explanation as to why they were going to disappear from your life without saying a word. And who does that? A coward. Wouldn't it have been better if the two of you had had a conversation and you could have reached some sort of compromise with each other? Okay, let's take a six-week break or a two-month break or three months, whatever, insert that period of time, and let's come back together and see where we are then. That would have made you feel better in a way. Yes, you would have still worried if they were coming back, if they were gone for good, but you would have known from your person that they just didn't treat you with such disrespect by disappearing from your life. Sorry, guys, my elbow hit the table. They wouldn't, they just disappeared from your life. That is rude 
It is disrespectful and it is a harsh thing to experience. But on the flip side of that, so is a breakup. Breakups are difficult as well. Saying, I don't care about you anymore. I don't love you anymore. Whatever it is that your person may have said to you, I don't feel this connection. It's something that's just in your head. But that again is coming back to their fears. And they were projecting all of that onto you because you know in your heart and in your soul, you know this connection with this person means something for your lives. You know this connection is significant and this relationship is special. You know there is more to your story. You can feel it within your heart, within your soul, in that quiet space inside of you, not in your head where your fear lives. But you know, trust in what you feel in that deep inner knowing about this person. They will present themselves again and they will explain why they did what they did and said what they said and created all of this hurt, heartache, drama, confusion, and conflict between the two of you. So let's move on with this reading. We'll use some tarot cards now and see what else we need to know about this person. What's going on in this connection? What does the universe want to tell us most importantly? What does the universe want us to know about this person and this relationship? What does the universe want to reveal? This is the two, I'm sorry, this is the three of wands. The three of wands. This tells us your person is definitely longing for you. You do still hold the key to their heart. But this three of wands also tells us that the weight is almost over. See this cloaked figure here standing holding this wand is waiting for this ship to come into this pier where these seagulls are, if anyone resonates with seagulls. And that ship is almost there. The wait is almost over. Things are about to start changing here in this connection with your person. They will find the right words to say. They will be able to express themselves and apologize for all of the things that they have done. But also, they want to be able to express their love for you. They want to be able to tell you how they feel. This is part of the things as well that they're trying to find the right words. And if they have never expressed their love for you, if they've never told you how they felt, this may be something that's difficult and challenging for them. And they are having to figure this out. But they will. They will. Because there is a call to action here for your person to get things moving see what else we need to know. What does the universe want to reveal for this reading today? This is the moon. The moon is a card of sadness, melancholy. Your person may really be feeling, especially next to that three of wands, which is a card of longing and yearning. They are really missing you. You guys out there watching the reading, the moon is ruled by Pisces. So if you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising in Pisces, this can be a place of validation that there is a message in this reading for you, but you do not have to be a Pisces for this reading to work or resonate with you. The moon also tells us that your person is breaking through their illusions that have been holding them back. And what are fears? Nothing but illusions. There's something that only exists in our head, unless, of course, we're getting ready to jump off the top of a building or jump into an ocean full of sharks. Now that is fear. And that's not really the kind of fear that lives in our head, but fear that's coming from something that we're about to do. But this is an illusion for your person, this fear that they are feeling. They're breaking through these things, these fears, these rejection issues, abandonment stuff, and everything else that's been holding them back. But the moon is also a card of dreams. And it tells us your person is dreaming about you at night. And they think about you before they go to sleep hoping it will encourage those dreams to come because they want to connect with you. They want to feel your essence and feel your presence as if you are right there next to them. But as well, these dreams are revealing to them. Their angels and guides are giving them signs and synchronicities through those dreams that it's time 
to take action and start rebuilding this relationship. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to tell us about this person and this connection? Well, this is the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Coins. This card has a little squirrel up in the tree, if anyone likes squirrels. But the Knight of Pentacles is someone who is doing a lot of thinking and analysis. Thinking and analyzing about a long-term partnership. So your person is thinking about this and they're spending a lot of time dwelling on it as well. But this card as well also tells us that perhaps for the moment you and or your person are thinking about work, thinking about greater financial security and stability and how you can make that happen in your lives. Perhaps either one of you are considering changing jobs, looking for a new job, changing careers, trying to figure out what you can do to increase your income, to gain that greater financial security and stability. But very much this Knight of Pentacles is someone who thinks about a long-term partner. Knights are, all knights are air, regardless of their sign, like this is air of earth. So knights spend a lot of time thinking talking, evaluating, analyzing. It doesn't yet reach the action stage, which comes when we get to the kings and queens. But this card tells us your person projects into the future what a relationship with you would look like. The Knight of Pentacles is an earth sign, as we mentioned. So if you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising signs in Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, again, a place of validation. The Knight of Pentacles is someone who is grounded. They have stability around them. They do have a tendency to move slowly, which is probably what you are feeling with your person. You think they're moving slowly, but they are, again, trying to figure out what they're going to say to you. Again, supported by this Knight of Pentacles, thinking about what to say, how to say it, what would be the right words, not as a place of manipulation of you, but to present themselves to you in an honest authentic and sincere way because they do have regret and remorse for how they've treated you, for their actions and for the words that they said to you that were very hurtful for disappearing without this proper goodbye, for not discussing that with you, for not having the maturity to w work through this together as a couple, as a team. But this moon card does tell us your person, for many of you out there, they are feeling low. They have the blues and they feel melancholy because you are not part of their life right now. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal to the collective about this person? The Ace of Pentacles. Yes, the Ace of Pentacles is a very powerful, super card and this card comes with this magnificent stag this deer this cute little bunny rabbit a i think that's a ferret or maybe i don't know maybe an otter toadstools apples and trees and forest like situation here the ace of pentacles is about a fresh start that is exactly what it's about a new beginning between you and your person an opportunity to wipe that slate clean and reset everything and come at this from a different perspective and a different level, a higher vibrational level, which is where you will be as you and your person try to rebuild this relationship with each other. But it's interesting this comes next to the Knight of Pentacles because we were talking about job, work, career, money, with this next to this Ace of Pentacles and this Knight of Wands side by side here. Again, now is the time to look for a new job if that is something that you are wanting to bring into your life. And perhaps your person is also focused on that, regardless of what your sign is. Okay, you don't have to be an Earth sign for that to be happening right now. This is a collective energy for all signs. So, if a new job is something that you want to manifest in your life, the energy is definitely present for that right now. 
So let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What do we need to know about this person? The Fool. Yes. So this Fool card is such a great representation by this artist. And we have this cute little white dog that's always on a Fool card. And this Fool has actually taken a leap of faith because he is already in the air. He has taken that leap of faith and he has jumped off that cliff into the abyss to allow the universe to catch him. And I say him because that is the representation of this image here. It's interesting that this full card is juggling all of the astrology signs. That's why I said all signs are included in this reading. The fool is not ruled by an astrology sign, but the planet Uranus. And that is the planet of unexpected things. All of a sudden, things can shift and change in the blink of an eye. Just boom, everything is different. All it takes is one thought, your person reaching out to you, communicating with you because they found the right words to say. Now, it's interesting that the fool comes up as well because Uranus and Mars are meeting up in the sky right now, like July 15th is when it's going to be the most intense. And that is the energy that we are feeling in the collective right now. We have Mars, the planet of fire, because it's ruled by Aries. Think of Mars and Aries as the gods of war. So there's a lot of energy there. The energy is building. It's a lot of fire energy. And then this, the fool, Expect the unexpected coming from Uranus. All of that energy coming together is going to allow your person to get their act together and show you that, yes, things are changing. Remember I said it was like Mount Vesuvius about to explode within your person. That makes sense because they can't keep it inside any longer. They know it's time to do something because they miss you. They're longing for you. They want to talk. They don't like not having in your life. It's time for them to stop thinking here and take action. And the fool is very much about taking action because they are taking this leap of faith. This card side by side with this ace of pentacles though. Pow! What a powerful statement this is because the fool is also about a new beginning with your person side by side here so expect the unexpected guys anything can happen things can change at any moment here so let's see what else we need to know for this reading today please what does the collective need to know let go now this isn't about you letting go of your person this is about letting go of whatever is going on in your mind, letting go of your fears, your person letting go of their fears as well, them letting go and taking this leap of faith to create this new beginning with you. This is about letting go. It is truly about surrendering to the universe. And this is what your person is doing because isn't that the representation of this fool card? Remember we said that your person was taking the leap of faith and jumping into the abyss and allowing the universe to catch them. They've let go, let go of this fear, letting go of their need to control what's going on in their life, let go of their issues, their stuff, old emotional wounds that have held them back, all of it so that they can present themselves to you as a romantic partner and say what they need to say to you, the right words, the apology, and tell you that you still hold the key to their heart. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? Beyond the Ordinary. All of you are extraordinary people. You guys out there watching this reading, you have been called to this mission that you have with your person. You are beyond ordinary. This card comes with number 45, if that resonates with anyone. But this is your person 
understanding within themselves that they are not ordinary, that they are a magical spiritual being living on planet earth, that there is no fear that would cause and that it's time to release these rejection fears. There's no reason for your person to fear rejection anymore because they are beyond the ordinary. They're extraordinary just like you are. And your person is finding that within themselves. They are finding their confidence, their self-esteem, their self-worth. They are healing, releasing, and letting go the things that have held them back because they have a greater understanding now because they've gone through changes here that there's no need for them to fear rejection. There's no need for them to have any sort of fears, whether it's abandonment fears, fear of losing control, fear of getting lost in their emotions because they're letting all of that go. And by letting that go, they can see that they are extraordinary. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? Daffodil Fairy. I love daffodils. They are so happy and they only come out in like February, March. New beginnings. This is again about this new beginning with your person. They want to start over. They see this opportunity here with you for a new beginning, for this fresh start, to wipe the slate clean so the two of you have this tremendous opportunity to come into union with each other, to be able to have this relationship because they're certainly thinking about it. That Knight of Pentacles energy is really thinking about long-term partnership. That's what they do. They think, but as they release these things and take this leap of faith, that is about them taking action to do what they need to do to reach out to you and find these words that they need to say to you and ask you as well if you're willing to give them another chance. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to reveal? Engagement ring, higher commitment, eternity, partnership and union. Yes. Now, whether or not you will get engaged or have domestic partnership is something that's between you and your person. The bottom line here is, especially with that Knight of Pentacles, this is something your person is thinking about. They are thinking about long term about this commitment knowing that the two of you belong together this is why this powerful energy of this fresh start is here on this side of the reading which as we move this is kind of like where this is going with your person think of how things are now and then where it's going your person seeing this new beginning with you and they do want partnership. That's what this Knight of Pentacles projects. It's what they evaluate. It's what they think about. And they see union here with you. They are letting go of everything that has held them back for good. Because this new beginning will be the last one with your person. For your person to create this new beginning with you, they will be there to stay. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? Shock. Sudden change. Shocking news, surprises, and epiphany. Transformation. Well, that's interesting because, again, this is the energy that we're all feeling right now. And this Fool card as well does represent a sudden change. All of a sudden, things are different. But as well, your person has had an epiphany. They have had a breakthrough. They see things now much clearly. How could they not? They've been spending a lot of time thinking about things and evaluating things. And that surprise coming towards you may very well be them reaching out to you. Because again, they are thinking about the right words to say to you. They don't want to just show up and say, hey, hello, 
How are you? Because you know what? They need to apologize. They need to be accountable and responsible for the things that they have done here. But that's what this moon energy is about. It is a heaviness. It is a sadness that your person is feeling, but they will pull themselves up and out of it because all that takes is a decision to create this sudden change here. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? Sword and rose, clarity and truth. Yes, clarity, epiphany, revelations, honor and protection, determination. And that is very much the energy of that night of pentacles as well. That is the energy of someone who is very determined and your person is determined to find the right words that they need to say to you so that they can show up and talk to you via phone call, via text, showing up at your house. I please hope it's not a text because I think they owe you a phone call or at least arrange a meeting or a phone call in person so the two of you can talk and look into each other's eyes because that is where the truth is revealed. But your person sees so much clearer now. This is about them seeing the truth, seeing the reality of everything and understanding all of that because they have spent time here in self-reflection, in isolation, and definitely contemplation. But they are thinking about how they can create this new beginning with you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? Talking. Interested. Awaiting messages, texts, calls, email talking more. Yeah. Okay. So this makes sense because this is about your person finding the words to say and being able to express those to you. This is about your person wanting to talk and making that happen. Not just about desire, not just about desiring to talk. This is about them actually taking action to talk because there is going to be some surprise that is coming towards you. Your person knows that they have needed to heal so much that has held them back from you and from this connection. They are working through that. This reading started with them talking about their fears, afraid that you were going to reject them. Now, we all know, everybody knows that you weren't going to reject your person. And so did they within their heart and within their soul. But that fear that lives in their head was screaming out at them, which is why they projected all of their fears onto you and creating a lot of the problems the two of you had with this relationship. But your person has gained clarity because they are releasing all of the things that have held them back. Because you still hold the key to their heart. And yes, your person is thinking. They are analyzing. And perhaps they are stuck in this analysis paralysis place. But there is a breakthrough coming. Lightning bolt is about to strike your person. And all of a sudden, they are going to take that leap of faith and make a major change. Which is what the fool is about. Major change incoming change, shocking news, your person reaching out to you, texting you saying, Hey, can we meet for dinner? I'd like to talk calling saying, do you have time to spend time with me? I need to clear the air. Are you willing to talk to me? But with this ace of pentacles, the fool and this daffodil fairy here, your person very much wants a new beginning with you. And you can expect them to reach out to you all of a sudden, one day, when you are not even expecting it, surprise, their name will come across your phone or they will knock on your door because your person wants to create this fresh start with you. This is your reading for today, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to all of you. Have a great day, everyone.